Hey everyone, it's Mort, lead designer of TFT, and we're here with the final preview game for TFT Galaxies. Uh, so let's jump right into it. So right away you'll notice instead of the Nikoverse, we get the Forecast universe. Uh, you can tell from the logo at the top there. Um, but yeah, so all of the carousel is Forecast units. Uh, so here we grab Kale, who I think is one of the better Forecast units that you can run early. Her one-star version is really strong. Uh, Kale is a Valkyrie Blademaster. Uh, and so we get the armor, but at this point we're actually paying more attention to the unit than the item, uh, which is pretty interesting because normally you don't do that in TFT, and the four costs can really open up that potential option. Now she may not look like much, but when she casts her spell, she energizes and does a lot of damage. Um, so kind of similar to Olaf, actually, except from ranged. So uh, also a really good character with Gunblade. Now we start off with quite the shop, which would be a tough decision. Uh, we also start with the Jace. Now when you see a shop like this, you have to make a really tough call, especially with the four cost. Do you keep the gold? And so I take a risk. I get rid of the Kale. Um, part of this was also, I'd already won two playtests this day, and I was trying to lighten up and maybe get rid of the four cost. So, uh, so we take the two-star Jarvan. Now at this point, we're getting a very good gold start. The fact that we got the Jace and the gold, uh, so we know we're not going to get items. And then we randomly high roll another two-star. So at this point, we're just kind of running the, uh, the two-star brigade here. Not really sure what we're actually building yet. Um, if this is your first video, you'll notice the PvE encounters are themed after galaxies, which is pretty sweet. So, uh, but yeah, getting two two stars this early, especially with the tight economy, uh, this is a this is a good healthy start for us. But again, we're probably not going to get many items either. So, still less gold than we'd get on live. Um, now, one thing to notice also is if you look at the near the shop, the uh, drop percentages. You'll notice at level 3 you can't drop any 3 costs anymore. Uh, this is to help with the... Uh, to help make sure that you... with the lower economy that you don't get screwed. Now here again we actually get a really good econ start. We're sitting at 10 gold, so we're gonna level to 4. And I decide to try something kinda risky here. I decide to go Space Pirate. Uh, Space Pirate is one of our newer uh, synergies. Uh, for those of you that liked Pirate, it's kind of like that, only a little bit different. Uh, instead of just running Pirate and getting gold, what happens is Space Pirate, every time they get a kill, they do the killing blow, there's a 50% chance to drop a gold. Uh, and it is not pure random, it is weighted, so you're not going to like see six gold from a single round. Uh, but this is a pretty good econ build into a good econ start, so we could get a lot of gold this game if we can keep the power going. Uh, because of that, we also slap the early locket, which is a good early game item to continue that. So we have the three cost Jace, who is a space pirate. Now Jace is really similar to Aatrox from both set one and set two. Three cost, very similar move, does a slam that hits in an AoE for almost identical damage. But I think Jace is actually better than they were, uh, simply because Jace actually has a defensive trait, which Aatrox never did. Aatrox was always Blademaster. Uh, Jace can be a vanguard, which makes him quite tanky, which is good on the front line. So that's a really cool strategy you can do here. Uh, and again, we're also playing against people who aren't as familiar with the set right now. Uh, so being up a level with some two stars and some space pirates, uh, we should be in a good spot. Now the one thing to note there is like Ziggs getting the kill means the Space Pirates are unable to get that last hit. So we really want to two-star the Space Pirates. Uh, if you really want to maximize your gold chances with the Space Pirates, you will need to put items on them, make sure they're the ones getting the killing blow. So, Alright, at this point we see the Graves. We've also got some Sonas. Um, Sona can be a really good early game healer, so something to consider to keep your team alive early. 
Um, because we're wind streaking and we've got this power, we take a risk, we press roll, see if we can strengthen that army a little bit. Now again, this is where you could weigh your options. I could consider leveling here, but instead I say, nah, didn't hit those space pirates. We're just going to stay where we are. Now here we can see somebody who's kept their four cost, Cho'Gath, who is back as a Void Brawler. Pretty much exactly like he was before, just with a bigger ult. So, thankfully Jace got the kill there and we get a gold. So, nice. Two gold, so two gold in one round. Good round for us as a space pirate. Now I know you can, I can already hear everyone through my headphones going, What? This is OP. How is this okay? Um, and again, it's it's a pretty powerful trait that you have to uh, commit to early. Getting the Jace early was also really lucky for me. Um, so yeah, at this point we have a locket, we have a comp. We're not really sure what we need here, but we're also in first, so we're probably not going to get first pick. So let's see what we end up with. Now Darius is a third space pirate, so we could always just grab the Darius looking like that's a good option. Nailed it. So now we got three space pirates and Darius is actually pretty good with AP also um, as his ult is kind of an execute. We saw that in an earlier video. So if we can get some AP on him that could actually be a good way to run the space pirates. Uh, we've also got that locket so we decide to lock it in and get a third space pirate in. Now the fourth space pirate is Gangplank who is a uh, five cost, so you're not hitting the four space pirate anytime soon. Again, we're trying to invest in some early power, keep wind streaking with the space pirates. Unfortunately, we kind of just hit every pair. Real rough. And then all of a sudden, ooh, look at that. So now we are strong. We have risked our economy, but we are running real strong early game pirates. This is real good for us. Now that Fizz ult is a little scary, but boom, boom. Get some big Darius damage there with the executes and some more gold. So again, this is looking like a really strong start, even though we gave up our econ. Um, and again, space pirates are kind of high risk, high reward in that regard, because if my space pirates can't kill anything, I don't get any gold. So you do need your space pirates to be strong. Now here we hit the Sona, and Sona's going to make our Space Pirates strong. So at this point we can ditch the Ziggs. We don't really need that. Uh, now I'm mousing over it there, but what you can see is the 4 Space Pirate, if you can hit it, actually allows you a chance to get item components from kills, which is pretty insane. Um, but yeah, I think in this version it was 20%. It's since been nerfed to 10%. Uh, but again, like the gold, it's also not random. So even though it says 10%, there's no, like, 1 in a 1,000 you get 3 items. It's a much more controlled, fair random. Now here, Lunch Boy is running a similar comp, but way weaker. So we're just going to kind of steamroll this. No gold drops, that's okay. Look at that Jace damage, that Jace damage was big. So we have, we have gone early, hardcore, aggressive build. At this point, we're on Krugs. We know we didn't get many items earlier, so hopefully we should start seeing more items. And yeah, you can see Sona keeps two targets alive. Actually, I think it's three at level at two star. So good amount of healing from Sona. To keep those space pirates up. Now in this video you'll notice I got gold from the Krugs. Um, that has since been removed, so if you're playing this on live, you cannot use Space Pirates to farm gold on PvE rounds. Uh, Space Pirate only works on enemy champions now. It's a little too powerful, a little too weird to like keep two Space Pirates around for all your PvE rounds. 
So again, early aggression here, an army of two stars. We've got three space pirates going. Um, at this point, it's kind of the time to decide if we're going to keep trying to go space pirates or we're going to start diverging this into a different build. So didn't do great on the items. That's okay. It'll probably cost us a little bit, but... Uh, you'll notice player damage, by the way. We're on 3-1, and the lowest person is 68. So player damage has had some adjustments, which we'll talk about later. Um, but shouldn't make people dead. Now here we see a very scary Disguised Toast Aurelia with two, uh, two death caps. Now every character in the game scales with AP now. So Aurelia with three death caps can be really scary, especially at two-star. Uh, with enough AP or AD, she can just kind of one-shot people. So that's something to be a little nervous about. Now here I'm just BMing Toast because I'm, I'm a jerk. Alright, so we're at 53 gold, we're win streaking. Time to figure out what we're doing. Time to commit. Now here we want to keep pushing that win streak so we level. Uh, Blitzcrank is a really good just universal champion you can almost put into any comp. Grabs those corner things, uh, corner enemies, pulls them in. Um, has a good chunk of HP, very similar to set 1 Blitzcrank. Actually a little stronger AP wise, so he hurts. Like watch what he does to this Ash. This poor Ash. Bam. Chunky. That Ash is at almost a third of her health. Now it looks like this person's running a Dark Star Sniper comp, so that Jin is something to be worried about later. But thankfully they're all one star, so we blow through them pretty quickly here. Now at this point, I'll be honest, what was going through my head was, I already won two playtests, I'm kind of winning a third, maybe I should back off. So I decide to kind of troll a little bit and get greedy. I don't know if this is the best play, but I start to consider, maybe we should try to 3-star some stuff just for fun. So I'm going to grab the Jace, see what happens. Because again, right now all we're really running is strong two stars early and space pirate for good econ. Backed by a good Sona. Uh, Sona healing keeps the comp alive. And we committed to a locket. So Now that locket could bite us later because there are some comps that like grouped up enemies. Graves doing his best to protect with smoke screen, which is good. But see, like there's that knock up that's real scary. Our Graves, our Darius does some work. Sona's trying her hardest, but nope. That Blademaster Zaya with Shiv does a lot of work. Zaya is probably the best Shiv user. Her ability gives her extra attacks or extra attack speed, and then Blademaster is extra attack, so she can get real nutty with Shiv. Shiv and Giant Slayer on Zaya is a very scary early build, and it shows. Alright, so we have a sword, which isn't great for our build, because both Darius and Jace are actually better AP users. Um, but we're also in first, so we kind of get stuck with whatever we have. And it's looking like we could go Zeke's, we could go Swords, so it's like, let's go Zeke's. Nope, just kidding. Last minute, we take another sword. Now keep in mind, Zeke's has been buffed. Giant Slayer's been buffed, Deathblade's been buffed. Um, so there's a couple of new options here. We hit another Jace, and we power level to 7. So now what I'm doing is I'm going, let's be silly and see if we can miraculously hit the Gangplank so that we could go 4 Space Pirate early. If we hit 4 Space Pirate at 5, that would be insane. Karma gives us 2 Mystic. Early Aurelian Soul, which is great, at 1% even, so we get pretty lucky. But then, bam, we hit the Gangplank. This is basically best case scenario, because now we have 4 Space Pirate, probably as early as you're going to get it. So if we can take this 4 Space Pirate build and make it work, we are going to go crazy. Space Pirates are greedy, they steal things, and this could go really well for us. Now, also kind of crazy to note is we hit two legendaries, despite the fact they've been nerfed to 1%, so there's that streamer luck, I suppose. 
<clears throat> Again, I'll call out the damage meters that show physical and magic damage, which is pretty cool. Uh, so now we want to get the Gangplank in, and we have four Space Pirate. Now whenever a Space Pirate gets a kill, there is a chance to get an item component. So, which is real good. Now at this point I've hit this, which is good. But I also make the decision that we should not... Uh, we should probably not level anymore. Probably try to let people actually come back a bit. So we're just going to stay at 7... And we're going to greed. Because you can see a lot of people are still at 6. And let's see if we get any items. Because again, we have to get the killing blow. Jace doing his work. There's that Gangplank alt. Boom! Get some gold. 3 gold this round. Again, Space Pirates doing work. 4 gold in one round. So again, if you compare that to the old pirate chest, it can go really well. So now we get rid of the Jarvan that we didn't actually need, and we have another two-star Jace, which is allowing us to do even more damage as pirates. So really good for us here. And we are still short on items, so definitely need those. A third sword and a spatula. Now, the spatula came from Space Pirate here, but again, we've changed this since this build. You cannot get golden items from PvE rounds anymore, so... But you can get spatulas from Space Pirate. So here we kind of troll a bit, and we're looking at all the different things spatula can create. Blade Master, Infiltrator, Star Guardian. Uh, we decide to have some fun with it. Because again, at this point we're trying to lighten off a little bit. Now, one of the things this comp struggles with is a good front line and a good back line. So, like, a good front line behind a sniper comp uh, or a blaster comp is something we're going to struggle with. Our Sona also just got grabbed by Blitzcrank. Ooh, there's that Cho'Gath ult. So, this Lucian is real scary here. Gangplank ult. Boom! Nothing too bad, though. And you can see Darius getting those executes uh, did the most damage there. Because again, every if Darius ults and they're below half health, it does more damage. Uh, and so now we're kind of raining in Jace's, which is pretty funny. And like I said, if I was really trying to win here, I might power level, keep going, try to get the two-star Gangplank. Uh, so this gives us Mono Reaver. What Mono Reaver does as a two-piece is... The first enemy you attack, and only the first one, so the first enemy that Cassidy and Darius attack, are basically poisoned from the last set. Their mana cost is increased by 40%. So if you watch, well, hopefully we watch our own combat. The first thing Cassidy hits is Rumble. Rumble is now poisoned. That's that white mana bar. Now it's only the first attack, and it's only until they cast once. So now Rumble is back to his normal mana. Um, but that's what Mono Reaver does. So it's really good if you need to make sure like one of their frontline tanks doesn't attack. Now here you notice we just got a belt from the Space Pirate trait. So now we're starting to rein in the items. And again, we got pretty lucky here. This is basically as high roll as it gets with all these extra items. Um, with the arrangement we have with the locket, Zeke's is actually a pretty viable option here. Uh, especially again, Zeke's has been buffed. So giving all of our guys attack speed is really good here. Uh, so we lock that in, get the lock at Zeke's arrangement with that strong of a front line. We give Darius the gunblade so when he starts ulting he can heal up. So now we've got a pretty strong front line with Locket. We've got two Mystic. Karma's buffing Darius. It's looking pretty good. Now one thing is, we're starting to watch the uh, super mech fight here. Just kind of scouting. Back to our board. There goes Darius. One, two, three, four. So yeah, if you can get him going, Darius can be a really powerful two cost here. And if you see there, look at his magic damage. He did a ton of magic damage. And so again, Space Pirate is a very greedy comp, but it can snowball really well. 
Uh, if you're looking for ways to stop Darius, Guardian Angel, really good, as you saw in one of the other videos. Uh, Mystic Yourself makes it do less magic damage. Dragon's Claw is another good option. Uh, and he's just susceptible to CC, so... Now at this point we're like, oh, just kidding, we don't get the Darius. Well, I guess we'll run a second Zeke's. Very similar to Keen from uh, the Rise of the Elements show match. Just stack those Keens. Now the person we're scouting there has six Dark Star, which can be real scary. So Zephyr, new item ZZ Rot Portal, another thing to consider. Um, not really, we're not really in need of a front line though, so we go the double Zeeks. And now, as I said, normally we might level, but we decide to get greedy and try to roll for some three stars, maybe. See if we can hit that Jace. Get the Darius. And we are up against a six Blade Master comp. Uh, six Blade Master comps, if they turn on, can really wreck. This one star Kale is going to do a lot of damage. And as you see here, we kind of get wrecked by a 6 uh, Blade Master comp with a lot of 1 stars even. So 6 Blade Masters are a pretty self-contained comp this time and can do really well. And again, that Kale was 1 star. So we lost our win streak, but that's okay. Again, at this point, we're actually trying to kind of lose a little bit in softball. Still haven't really hit any of the... Uh, Space Pirates we're looking for. None of the items really make sense here. So we see what we get. A 4 Brawler comp. So there's a lot of HP on this front line. Again, this is one of those things that's actually pretty good in us. Cho'Gath, Vel'Koz Laser. The Void damage here can do a lot of can really hurt us. And sure enough, Space Pirate's starting to fall off a bit here. So if we don't get some upgrades or make this comp a little bit better, we would start losing pretty hard here. Now, we're here at the Raptor stage. Again, trying to roll, see if we can hit those Jaces. Now you'll notice we've been at 7 for a while. And haven't really seen another Legendary, so we really did get lucky at the beginning there. So, last little bit of items here. But again, we might get some extra because of the Space Pirate thing. Yep, we get an extra Spatula. And again, this has since been nerfed, so... Don't expect quite as many items if you go this build. But again, we've got some Mono Reaver, we've got some Mystic, and we've got our Space Pirates. We hit the Soraka. Soraka's a much better healer than Sona. Although, Soraka does not heal status effects like Sona does. So Now at this point, we kind of have a silly idea. We use our Spatula and Bows to make two Infiltrator. Now, two Infiltrator means both of those characters get plus 60% attack speed at the start of the fight for uh, eight seconds. So if you watch our uh, Darius and Jace, they jump in the back and look at Jace go. He is hitting real fast, which allows him to ult much sooner. Darius gets some lucky resets there, kills four people. And now we're like, this is actually working. This is one of those like silly comps you probably wouldn't run as a main comp, but when it works, it works. We have two really powerful space pirates who are now infiltrators. Uh, another legendary at 1%, so again, we're kind of getting real lucky here. I have my order. We're one Jace off, two Darius off from a pretty crazy comp, if we can pull it off here. Now we back everyone up because again, now that they're infiltrators, they can jump back. And Darius will jump back and Mono Reeve the uh, first person he hits, so... This is a really interesting, really good comp. Now there's that scary Disguised Toast uh, Aurelian with three. Now thankfully we Mono Reave him here though, 
But she only has a 30 mana cost. So she every time she ults, watch us. Boom, 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 boom. Killed four people. Five people. That's a scary Aurelia. Toast has got a real powerful Aurelia. Total damage on an ult, which is only a 30 mana ult, 1608. So, whew. Toast is looking real scary. -er. Toast with those meme builds. Wrecking us. Alright, so again, we really want to finish off our Space Pirate build. Alright, we're one off of both of them now. Now here we have that Void Comp again. Now, if Jace can finish off this Velkaz, yep, there we go. Lucky us. So because we made them Infiltrator, we're actually hurting their backline. Uh, Velkaz's Void in particular, really susceptible to backline access. So, but, they are running for Brawler, so we're not quite strong enough. And again, this is where our Space Pirate build is really falling off. We're not getting any items because we're not killing that many things. So we've got to power up if we're ever going to have a shot at winning this. Now again, we're at 5-4 Carousel. Uh, lots of different items are now available as options. Uh, we could try to get a third Infiltrator thing, which could give us the four-piece Infiltrator. Uh, which would be pretty crazy to have that kind of build. But nope, it gets taken. Darn. And at this point, none of these items are really that helpful for us, so... We kind of meme and take Infinity Edge. Infinity Edge is unchanged, so just that extra crit damage and crit chance. And again, we are also trying to sort of softball and not necessarily win this. Uh, Thresh is a Mono Reaver, pretty good here. And bam! We get the one of the luckiest rolls you'll probably ever see. And now we are strong. This is a strong comp now. Because now we have two three stars with a bunch of AD that will jump back, mono reeve, and destroy some backlines. Oh, and they're double Zeke's and lockets. So yeah, this poor Star Guardian comp, for example, we skip right past the mech, and we just tear apart their backline. So all that's left is the mech and the Aurelian soul at this point. GA on the mech is always silly. And then you do double dip because now you get GA on the rumble also. Woo! A lot of damage. And so if you look at our three stars there, just they're carrying real hard. Dragon's Claw for Gangplank so we can cast more often. Now, the only thing bad here about putting in Thresh is Thresh pulls in units from your bench. We don't have a bench, so leveling to put in Thresh wouldn't really be that helpful here. Now, Toast, still alive with that Aurelia, just barely. But he does have a two-star Thresh. This two-star Thresh will do a lot of work, too. But we'll see that later. Or you can go watch Toast's video. I'm sure he put that up, but... Oof. So again, team doing a lot of work here, cleaning stuff up. Now we don't actually dominate this fight, but we do okay. But we do get four gold and a spatula, so that's pretty sweet. Now at this point we get a spatula item ourselves, which is Demolitionist. Uh, which isn't really great for us, but it's also not bad. Because Gangplank is also a Demolitionist, so we hit the two-piece Demolitionist. Not the worst. Uh, two-piece Demolitionist, it's just a two-piece, and what it says is your Demolitionist spells also stun for 1.5 seconds. So, if we look at our champions, we can decide whose spell we want to stun for 1.5 seconds. Now, Soraka, probably not a great choice. Karma, not a great choice. Uh, we also buy a few units for Thresh to actually pull in, because uh, when Thresh ults now, he will pull in some of our bench, so we need something for him to pull. 
Uh, we do get a second Thresh here, which is great. So now we make Jace a Demolitionist. So now Jace's ult not only does the 1200 damage, but also uh, stuns for 1.5 seconds. Now realistically, looking back, I probably would have put this on Cassivan, um, but not a big deal. Now one of the funny things you can also have happen here is if Thresh ults and pulls in that Thresh, you can get two Threshes going and that can get pretty nutty. Alright, so we're up against Toast Comp again. Now again, Toast is that very scary Aurelia here. One, two, three. Now thankfully we have three stars. Three stars are probably the counter to Toast's build because he has to execute, kind of like our Darius. But unfortunately, we're not quite strong enough. And again, that Aurelia. Whew, scary Aurelia. So we decide to level the 9. And that gives us 4 Mono Reaver. So this was good because we needed to test 4 Mono Reaver. Now what 4 Mono Reaver does is, instead of just your first attack basically poisoning them, all your attacks poison them. So now you really are stopping them from casting a lot. Now, the only thing is with this particular playtest, it was good we did this. We caught a bug. Because um, now actually the bug is my whole team is a Mono Reaver, which is not correct. We actually saw Jace apply it to Syndra there. But thankfully we have since fixed that bug. It is only the four Mono Reavers who get to Mono Reave. Now... We've also got a very scary Aurelian Soul there. Oof. But we just barely managed to pull it out. Oof. And again, if we hadn't three-starred these Space Pirates, we'd have probably been long gone by now. So. Again, we're kind of looking at what we can do with our spatula, but we are getting a lot of items at this point. Uh, so now Darius can crit also. So again, we have a very big Darius here. And then we have a Blade Master spatula that we can't really do a whole lot with. So we put it on Thresh for no reason whatsoever. So. Now when Thresh ults, he's going to pull in another GP, which is pretty sweet. Oh, that poor one star Lucian just gets wrecked. Oh, here's Tosarelia though. Final fight. Ooh. We're just barely in it. Soraka gets the ult, and oh, there's that Jace ult. It's looking real close, and oh, the Jace at the end. Honestly, that fight could have gone either way, uh, but we barely pull it out and beat the uh, perfect Aurelia there. So, we win. GG. All right, that's going to do it for my preview videos for TFT Galaxies. Hopefully we showed you a lot of cool builds, a lot of cool things that can happen. There's still a whole lot more I didn't show for you to discover. Um, by now, hopefully you're on PBE playing it, or if not, looking forward to playing it when it goes live. Um, so yeah, uh, that's it. The whole team is really excited for you to play it, so give it a try. And yeah, until next video, take it easy.